All right, guys, it's time to change the oil on this bad boy. I just acquired this amazing 190E and I need to change the oil on it. It doesn't look the best, so that's what I'm doing today. Jack this side up nicely uh, and we're gonna go ahead and drain this oil right now. All right, guys, so I'm just letting this oil drain out completely. Um, and afterwards, I'm going to put the drain plug back and we're going to refill it with fresh oil already installed, brand new filter. Um, so she, this baby's going to be really happy and I'm really happy because this is this is a really big maintenance that you're supposed to do, especially when you get a brand new car or like, you know, some, some other car that's actually new to you. So it's really important. So that's what we're doing today. Uh, 190e guys and yes these headlights are gonna be getting replaced I don't like these bezels somebody painted them so it's gonna be all getting replaced guys guys look at this thing I just removed this 17 inch wheel from the W126 and I installed this on this one but I'm still scared I don't know if it's gonna rub or not it might but I really love the way it looks, guys. This thing is sick. This thing is really looking amazing. Upon working on this car, I also discovered that these strut mount bolts were loose. You can see, I already tightened the other side. This side was also loose. And this is already tightened up. So now I'm gonna tighten that guy. Yep, crazy things I'm finding with this car. You know, how can you, like, you know, replace the strut mount and not do the job properly and all the way? you know what's up friends welcome back to my channel welcome back to Vias garage today i'm working on my 190e on my legendary my baby benz i love it so much so i'm basically uh, uh doing a lot of different repairs uh that you know got accumulated because of previous owners because they didn't take care of the car that well well at least i think the previous owner who actually i bought this car from who owned this car for two months only uh, and then decided to give up on the car so that's why i'm taking over and i'm gonna be fixing everything uh to ideal and perfect uh level uh, unlike him who actually gave up on the car so in this video we're gonna actually go ahead and work on the on replacement of that window regulator on the side uh, let me show you really quick so this window regulator 
uh, was installed here but the problem is that um, it has basically um, it was pretty much a brand new uh, regulator but it's not good uh, it was actually broken I'll tell you I'll show you some details in a second all right guys so here I have the old regulator that was installed um, I actually took it off uh, and it was all tangled up as you can see the cable is all bent and stuff and it's not looking the best so I'm gonna be replacing this with a good one and uh, according, according to the previous owner this is how I got the car uh, with the door panel the door panel was actually removed um, and this was still installed but it was all the cable was like loose and all over the place uh, and I did try to fix it, but I still don't like the way this cable is bent. So I'm going to be replacing it with a brand new one, another unit. Um, and, uh, yeah, apparently the guy said that, uh, uh, you know, I think uh, he installed it and something happened, I guess. He tried to fix it again. It didn't work, blah, 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 whatever. Oh, and he told me that these uh, window tracks apparently are... Um, dry and that's why this cable like came loose or something or couldn't like work properly whatever so yeah i'm not too sure about that but um i guess we will see um we're gonna go ahead and replace it with a brand new one out of the box all right let me show you the problem why he had a, a window issue and why that regulator was not working properly look at this stuff we have a factory insulation here for the door the sound deadening that's coming off actually and as the window was going up and down it was hitting that stuff and causing problems so it wasn't actually the i mean i i don't know the track could still be dry but um, it's not going to cause something like this but this sound deadening that's coming off it's definitely going to cause a problem with the regulator and that thing going crazy and look at this stuff it's also coming apart so this stuff needs to be re-glued properly all right and then after i do that then i will reinstall this uh regulator All right, guys, I just finished uh, installing a brand new window regulator on this door because the old one, which was actually replaced with a new unit, was messed up. And according to the owner, uh, something happened to it, but I figured out a problem why exactly that uh, old new window regulator wasn't working properly, why the cable was getting loose and all tangled up. I'll show you in a second. And he also thought that the window tracks are probably like too dry up. That's why uh, it was causing issues on this side. So I already replaced this thing. Uh, it's brand new. And as you guys saw in the previous uh, clip, it had an uh, in insulation that was actually popped out and what I did is I just re-glued it back on and right now it's not interfering with anything with the window movement or nothing at all so let me show you in a second um, and yeah I'm almost done with this door I'm about to put this uh, panel back on all right so here's our new uh, regulator okay before I installed it I actually put a lot of grease everywhere on the cable itself um, and inside the motor and uh, a rotating assembly and all that stuff so that's all brand new and as you can see I really like lubricating all this area right here and also besides that what I did is I had this uh, um, door stop removed okay it's all lubricated right now but the reason why i removed it is because i wanted to lubricate that thing um i actually wanted to make sure that it's moving nice because when i removed this regulator it was actually not a regulator but when i removed this doorstop it was actually really dry and there was pretty much no grease so i cleaned the, everything up and i reapplied new grease and then reinstalled everything back so right now everything moves really nice and smooth okay and let me show you the window operation right now all right uh this is not the uh this is just a temporary fix i'll be uh i'll be fixing everything i'll be probably soldering all these connectors and stuff uh but let me just show you how it works right now okay so 
Okay. And then we're going back up. And remember, when we go all the way up, just before it hits the top, just want to make sure you hit it like slightly. Otherwise, if you go, if you keep the button pressed, you guys already know, this thing is going to go all the way up and it's going to actually uh, start bending the regulator. So you have to remember with these old benzes, actually, even with new cars, same thing. You have to, you have to actually watch out for that. So right before you close it, you stop. And then you just give it a little bit like that. There you go. And that's it, guys. And now I'm gonna be getting ready to install all this stuff back. And I have this uh, uh, protective film was missing, so I have what I've had one in stock. So I'm gonna reapply it, and uh, then we're gonna put uh, everything back. We're gonna install the door panel. The previous owner didn't know how to remove. The door panel on this 190E and he broke off the hooks, three of them. This one already tried to glue it back on, it's holding up, but yeah, it's really sad. I'm really upset that when people start working on these cars, they don't know how to do it or they're too lazy to find out how to work on it, you know. So looks like the previous owner who owned this car for two months, he just removed a couple of screws and he just tried to pull on this panel but this has a hook w124s w201s have these hooks you have to actually lift the panel off instead of pull on it and w123s yeah you have to pull on the door panel not in the case with other mercedes you have to know the procedures look up the factory repair manual